Hello and thanks for having me. My name is Gabriel Neves and I am Technical Manager for Bridges at Trimble. I am delighted to show you a glimpse of what Trimble products can do for your bridge design. Here, today's agenda. Common data environment for road or rail projects, data flow for bridge designers, bridge modeling overview, bridge modeling advanced, connecting analysis design sophistic and techless structures model, sharing the bridge model. Today, I'm bringing part of a possible data workflow for bridge design. And first, we start with the road design. Quadri is an open, common data environment platform for continuous sharing of integrated design models. Quadri is ideal for owners and road or rail designers. After the alignment has been designed, the data can pass to the bridge designer that is using Tecla Structures as the main modeling tool. Using Tecla Structures as your main tool for bridge modeling, you can deliver high level of detail models, say LOD 350 plus. This means you can model everything if you are really serious in taking all the advantages of designing with BIM. Concrete and rebar, steel work and steel work connections, welds, precast, scaffolding, formworks, and so on. All materials and all type of bridges. When the bridge outline is ready, this can be sent seamless or via IFC to Quadri as OLOD 300 while the high level of detail of the bridge will be made available as IFC and in this case I'm going to read IFC using Trimble Connect that is going to support the fabrication, the erection and the construction of the bridge structure. At any moment Quadri can exchange data with Trimble Connect. Common data environment for road and rail projects. The name Quadri represents the product vision and architecture that has been consistent for decades to integrate geodata from multiple disciplines such as first, GIS data, second, terrain model data, third, design data, and at last, information. Trimble Quadri is providing an object network and process-oriented model platform for infrastructure projects. Object-based model enables simple and faster and even more effective collaboration than today's file-based systems. Linear Referencing Systems, LRS, enables users to organize and manage infrastructure objects by locating them along the network. And very important, Quadri is a software agnostic platform. Applications from different vendors can collaborate by continuously sharing models in a multi-user BIM environment. With existing connectors, simplifies adoption of Quadri and integration into existing workflows and its connectors and APIs enable stakeholders to do design in their preferred software. It is proven and established in as the industry standard BIM for infrastructure technology in the Nordic countries. Quadri data flow for bridge designers. Before the alignment data is ready to be shared with the bridge designer, a task needs to be created in Quadri by someone from the road project team. This task will contain alignments, road surfaces, terrain, or even geotechnical information. This data is then shared with the bridge designers. Bridge modeling overview. Tecla Structures is our beam star. It's an intelligent parametric beam tool for constructible design of all bridges types, sizes, and materials. Here Tecla Structures in action. Today, first, we open the Quadri plugin, we connect with Quadri and to the task that was created for the bridge designers, and we import some key lines, those lines that we want to constrain our deck and extrude along. Then we open Bridge Creator and we go to display the stations along the central line. Now, let's load something that was already prepared. We read the lines, we constrain the points to those lines, define the deck and extrude with the start and the end station. Now, just loading more objects and all those objects are cross sections, could be varying cross sections that are extruded along the lines and they are constrained or not to those road lines. And I can do that with 
the wing walls, the abutment, and so on. So the substructure was modeled prior the, the deck, and now something that we can do with Bridge Creator is to place all the other finishes, like the curbs, the pedestrian or vehicle parapets, we place along those lines, constrained to those lines as uh, objects. Why am I bringing this workflow to you today? Well, our main clients, which are market leaders, are all using this workflow. Let me introduce what is Rhino and Grasshopper. Rhino is a CAD software uh, that is commonly used in computer graphics for, let's say, um, aviation, car industry, and so on. And Grasshopper is an algorithm modeling plugin for Rhino that uses a visual programming language. And since Tecla approach for OpenBeam, for many years that we have the link with Grasshopper Tecla structures. Here we are with Rhino Grasshopper, and I just brought an alignment from Quadri into a previously bridge I had in Grasshopper. But the stations are incorrect. But for now, I'm just going to change the stations and see what's happening. Let's put the second abutment more into the straight line. Much better. The next minute is just for you to see how changes in with Grasshopper will affect your model. And you can take this type of changes and constraints to the high level, if you like I have it here, where every object is constrained and controlled from Grasshopper. Every single object is controlled from Grasshopper, every single dimension. And many of those objects are constrained to other objects, obviously. The advantage of Grasshopper, you have one bridge, you change the alignment and the bridge adapts. So you, you saw a straight bridge and now we have a curved bridge and now we have a snake bridge and the script, it's exactly the same. And now I'm going to keep making changes to the model, changing the station and see what's happening with the concrete and reinforcement. Everything updates. Now I'm having some uh, reinforcement for the abutments and still testing and changing the changes in the SOPA to see how the objects behave in Tecla structures. Since sophistic attitude towards open beam, it's similar with the Tecla attitude. Both components for sophistic and Tecla structures are available in Grasshopper. Let's take some advantage from that situation and connect the analysis design and BIM model. Here, the same script I've shown before, but I put some work into the bridge. This is the part that controls the bridge, and this is the Tecla side. And to control Sophistic is through files. So the Grasshopper saves important files like the geometry, the tendons or the sections, and those files, they come out of the script to our C drive. Just recompute, and I'm jumping into Sophistic. This was the previous bridge, which I'm now reloading. And Sophistic is now reading the files created by Grasshopper, and we have now that information ready to keep doing the analysis of our bridge. The same is happening in Tecla Structures, live link. The bridge is there, to take the high level of detail, even for construction without drawings, as they do in the Nordics. So, Grasshopper is one point of control for the analysis design and BRIM model. And when we're talking about one single point of control, that is what matters. Some information goes to Sophistic, the other information goes to Tecla Structures, but the changes are before that happens. And that is where this workflow plays so well and is so well accepted in the market leaders in, in Europe. Now that we have the model ready and finished, we need to share it. Since I'm proposing the Quadri connector, here, let's close this loop. So, bridge is ready. I'm using the Quadri connector in Tecla Structures to send the objects, mapping the objects, and then seamless send the objects to Quadri. Now that I have the object, the bridge from Tecla, I can place that into the specific task. 
This video shows why the IFC is so important for our industry. The bridge was exported as IFC with every single object modeled. And now using Trimble Connect, the contractor can use the model to help and build the, the structure. And since we have the, the IFC uh, here, I'm sending the IFC into Quadri as a LOD 300, and which is exactly the same bridge, but as an IFC. So seamless that connection with Quadri or through IFC always works well. It is time to say goodbye for today. Did you find this useful? Let me know in the comments box below. See you in the next episode. Keep safe and have a brimmer day.